Okay, this is a demo on how to delete distracting things from your photo. So here's the original photo of me and my husband. Um, this is the original and then this is the edit. So you can see that log in the background. I took that out and it's a super easy way to do it. Um, I'm going to have a, a separate video on how to do it on Lightroom, um, but this demo is how to do it on PhotoP. So go ahead and find a personal photo um, with maybe something in your photo that you want to delete that might be distracting. So I just found a photo, but I want you to use one of your personal photos, save it to your computer, and you're going to upload it to PhotoP. So on PhotoP, go ahead and go to File Open. And I'm just, I found a seascape picture. And so actually this is the original and this is my edit. So I am getting rid of this little boat here and then these little fishermen or kayakers here. So I am going to first start out by straightening this picture because the horizon line is crooked. I'm gonna to go to the crop tool here. You might not have to do this and straighten the later layer for this version. I have to click and drag on the horizon line and click this little check mark to straighten it. Um, everybody might be slightly different on their photo P and I can help you with that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna zoom in. If you don't remember how to zoom in on a Mac, it is Command Plus on the keyboard, and then on a PC, it is Control Plus on your keyboard. So we just have a slightly closer view. Okay, we're gonna start with this smaller one, and the tools that we are using today, um, it looks like a little Band-Aid over here, but this tool right here, if you hover over it, this is the Healing Brush tool. So if you click and hold down, you can see all these other ones, but we're just using the top two. We're going to start with the spot healing brush first. And what this does, um, this basically, once you click, it fills in, it covers up and fills in the blanks uh, with all the colors. It uses the information from the photo to fill in or cover up. So to make your brush smaller, since we, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller on your keyboard, you can use the brackets or up here in the corner, you can change the size manually. It's easier to use the brackets, but whatever you're mo most comfortable with. So I'm going to make this a, like so that boat fits right inside my circle and then just click and it takes a second and it fills it in. Now, if it doesn't do a perfect job, you can try, you know, making your circle bigger. Um, like that one doesn't look as good. I'll go back um, and try it. So when it was that smaller size, it seemed to work better. Okay. So that's how you do that. It just eliminated that boat. You wouldn't really be able to tell. Um, that it was ever there. Now, since this one is bigger, um, this tool doesn't work quite as well. So I can go ahead and try this and take a second. Okay, that one actually wasn't as bad, but in the past there have been some that don't work as well. So let me try and click it. Like if it doesn't look super realistic, yeah, like that, if we were to zoom back out, it doesn't look real. So um, to Take something back, by the way, on the keyboard, on a PC, it's Control Z, um, and then the Mac is Command Z. So you can take something back or edit undo. All right, so we're gonna switch, since this is a bigger one, we're gonna switch to the Healing Brush tool, which this is pretty cool. Um, the Healing Brush is neat. Uh, you can see it has my past, uh, I guess, pixels that I used from before. So how this works, um, as you can see that the outside kind of has a feathered edge and you can use this to stamp and cover up things. So um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to feather the edges because most likely the hardness is at like 100%. So up here in the corner, uh, this is the size of your brush and then this is the edge. We don't want a super hard edge because if I have a super hard edge, it's gonna look like this and that does not look realistic whatsoever. So we're gonna lower the hardness uh, you want it to look nice and natural. And then um, you are going to, you might not have the picture already hovering over yours, um, but since I already used it, it has this image of the water. So what you want to do on your keyboard, hold down Alt. So click and hold down Alt and then find an area of the picture that kind of matches the area that you want to cover up. And then with your mouse, go ahead and click and it copies that area. So if I move my mouse, I have copied that section of the photo and then I can just bring it over and cover this up and I can do this a couple times. 
And there I go. So if I zoom out, you wouldn't even be able to tell that I had any boulders or anything in this picture. Once you're done, you're going to save this as a JPEG. So file, export as, JPG, and then it'll save to your downloads. You can upload it to Google Classroom.